Industrial instruments have some specific rules when you try to interface with it. Some of the used sensors run on 24 volt and maybe we find it a bit difficult to interact with it through a TTL based MCU. Today's video is about how to explore the current signals of an industrial thermocouple sensor using Arduino Portenta board and some external integrated circuits. Hey guys, it's Chris. I come again with a new video. Before starting, let's take a look at the three winners of the giveaway program. These persons have already received their 30 US dollars free coupons that they can use to order PCBs from JLC PCB. If you also want to be a winner, then all what you have to do is to write a comment right down in this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and activate the notification button. Don't forget that we will have three winners next time, so don't miss the chance to be one of them. Back into our main topic, how to explore the low current signals of a thermocouple sensor using an MCU based board. Let's first check how thermocouple sensors work. Such sensor is meant to measure temperature, it's basically made of two different types of metals joined together at one end. Once the joined end is heated up, there is a continuous current which flows in the thermoelectric circuit. This current value changes relatively to the temperature changing. Now which portenta pins are appropriate to measure analog current? To measure the current signal sent by our sensor, we must get it first amplified, then convert it to digital data, then interpret it by the MCU. We can get it all done through the MAX6675 circuit from Maxim Integrated. I remind you that I placed two MAX6675 ICs in the board schematic of my throne board that I have made to explore the HD connectors of Arduino Portenta. You can check my previous video for the making details of this throne board. Considering the circuit datasheet, it says that the IC performs to digitize the signal from a Type K thermocouple sensor. The ship has a simplified SPI communication port and designed it to work in conjunction with an external microcontroller. It has a good conversion resolution and a high temperature measurement range that could reach 1024 Celsius degrees, which makes it suitable for many industrial applications. You can also find the appropriate schematic setup for your circuit layout. I get back to my Altium designer where I draw it the throne board schematic, I just grab it the max ship from the components library. The HD connectors are already there. And all what I need now is connecting the appropriate pins to establish the SPI communication. Since Portenta has 6 SPI ports, I choose it to use the first and second ports for my max ICs. The appropriate pins for the first port are located in the second HD connector, specifically through the pins 38, 40 and 42. I just use it the net level in my schematic to keep an arranged looking of the scheme layout. Make sure that you are using the same level for the same net. I drag it the second max IC to the schematic, where it will be connected to the second SPI port located on the first HD connector through the pins 33, 59, and 61. Don't forget to follow the datasheet recommended setup that shows the need of a 0.1 microfarad decoupling capacitor place it in the power line of the max circuit. I also drop a two screw heater terminals where I will plug in the thermal couple sensor. Now in the PCB layout, try to keep the decoupling capacitors closer to the power tracks as much as possible. The assembly of such component package is not that much difficult and you can just make it using a solder iron and some flux. Here are the screw heater where we will plug in the thermocouple sensor. Consider that the sensor has a definite polarity, so just follow the manufacturer instructions to define the plus and minus wires of your sensor. I stick it the sensor head to my assembly hot plate to measure the temperature increase. On the software side, you can notice that I used this MAX6675 library by Adafruit. 
all what it takes is just three pins that we use it for the SPI communication, then this instance will make Portenta interpret the MAC6675 data and display it through the serial monitor. I uploaded the code to my Portenta, then opened the serial monitor, and here we go. As you can see, here are the readed data for the temperature values that keeps on increasing as long as the hot plate temperature increases, which confirmed that the SPI communication has been successfully achieved and the max IC has been exploded by our portenta. That's it for today guys, do not miss to check my Instagram where I posted some short videos about portenta basic APIs that you might find it useful. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time.